Hello, this is Coy, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. Thanks for joining me today for day 71 of the 100 Day Project. Okay, um, you probably get two videos today. Uh, yesterday, day 70, uh, my video, it was a video blooper, and I went ahead and posted it anyway today. And now I'm sitting here. The little journals, the mini journals are completed. The pockets are stuffed on the Dia de los Muertos journals. I'm going to work further on the Dia de los Muertos journals today. But first, I wanted to gather some of the stuff from around my desk and see if I can put together my personal, my, you know, little personal journal that I, you know, for May that I like to make every month. So I've gathered a bunch of things and there may be, this is cardstock, so maybe that could be on the cover. Anyway, I want to see if there's a few pages I can use to, I like that. That's a big tag I made. I didn't really have anywhere to put it, but I wanted to make it. Um, I used the rest of the paper, the rest of the collage paper in the Dia de los um, Martos journals. But these little kids, look at them. <laughs> little crocodile. Anyway, maybe I can use that in my, my personal journal. All right. Um, for now, I'd like to pick out some actual pages to use. And these are all different kinds of pages. This is also a cardstock. A lot of it's just ephemera. That was not what I'm looking for at the moment. Okay, so how are all of you doing today and, and what's going on on your desk? May. So spring is in full swing. We have a May Fest coming up this weekend. Now, a lot of these pages are only printed on one side, so we would have to figure out what to do with those if we use them. Let's see. Definitely a couple of plain colored pages, solid color. Be nice. A book page would work. This is from a cookbook. Pink is nice. This one's double sided. A map. Some of them are. Small pages, I don't mind small pages, especially if they're printed on both sides. That one is. I don't want all small pages though, let's see. All right, so I think that I am going to be inspired by Hope Esperanza. <laughs> and kind of go with flowers and butterflies maybe for the month of May. April showers bring May flowers. Over at the Eclectic Cottage Cafe, Hope showed us what her, what she was putting together for her um, May journal on Facebook at the Eclectic Cottage Cafe. Thank you for that, Hope. I, I love seeing what everyone else is up to. This is pretty. Bright and festive. I don't need too many, but I would like to have a few. Oh, this was a misprint. I, that was a piece of ephemera that I got printed really large. Oh my goodness. Maybe, but I like the other side of the page. Let's see. All right, we don't need too many. That happened twice, let's see. All right. 
Oh, here's some. Let's see. But this is down here. This is already folded pages. pages that I leave them out. All right. Let me get put all the rest of this out of the way. All right, we're going to pick a few out of there. I don't know if that one might be in there twice at this point. Okay. All right, I definitely want one of these. Even though that Coca-Cola thing is not very inspiring, I might, you know, put something else there. Oh. Oh. All right. And narrow page. One of those, one of those. Let's see, this is a one-sided. You have to decide what to do with one-sided papers. You can either, hmm. we can either collage something else on the back or maybe I will make a big pocket with this. Fold this. Let's see. Like this. Hinge it into the journal like that and then make a maybe a big pocket with this side of the page. That makes sense. Okay. This I might put in there and <laughs> just use that thing, you know, we will collage over it. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, we'll definitely be collaging over that, right? Look at those teeth. I don't want to see that. What could we do? Let's collage over that thing right now. What can we put over it? So the teeth aren't showing. I don't like that. We can make a pocket there. Let's see. Does this fit? All right. Let's make this a pocket there before we ever even get started. All right, sold as a pocket. And it's got a little bit of glue on it. some technical difficulties here. Some glue issues. I thought Chi Chi was napping, but now she's stirring around under there, wondering what's all the chit chatting going on. Um, yeah, let's, I 
It has to go this way. It's more narrow this way. Okay, May. This year is flying by. All right, and then we'll figure out what to do with that page when we get to it. I just didn't like looking at those teeth. <laughs> All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Where's a blank page or two? Six. this pink one. Do it like that. No. All right, that one. And that one. I don't want to put too many pages because I don't write in it every single day. And we do want to do another pocket page. We'll hinge it here. Glue it there. Or here, let's see. Yeah, we'll put a giant tag in there. Okay, let me go ahead and glue this one. could have, and still could, I can go ahead and glue it at the top also and open up the side as a, for some, well, another time. Let's make a little divot in these just to remind us that they're pockets. All right, this is way more pages than I even need. All right, so. Two, three, short one, a pocket one. Oh. 
I may use that as a tip in. as the center fold. Maybe this will be the center fold. The two yellows right there together. You don't want that. Okay. And we have a May journal. Or the start of one anyway. Let's see what we're going to use for the cover. I like the cover to be a little bit thicker, but but I'm just going to use this 32 pound paper and glue that on the inside. And what about? That's what made me think of Mayflowers. <laughs> what about that? Anyway. It's, this is way too much now. All right. Here's that thick paper. I'm going to use these as the cover. Okay, again, I, the, pay, the point of my monthly journals are to have 12 of these to, try, <laughs> to maybe um, bind all together at the end of the year. Or I might have to do six and six. I don't know. Um, I did see an example of 12 signatures bound together and I think it's doable here I'm gonna that's gonna be that but I want to add that and that oh. I'm gonna remove something to add those that's gonna be my cover I have three going in and I need at least one coming out Do I want to change center folds? No, no, no. I like the center fold. What can I remove? This yellow one? All right. Oh, this must have been folded for the, um, <sighs> that must have been folded for the little golden book, because remember, it's larger. I like it. 
Maybe it'll be a pocket page. All right, we'll add these two. We took out the yellow one. to do a little trimming down on a couple of those and that's okay all right I think we've are on a roll we've got something going here and where is my glue stick I'm going to glue this heavier paper 32 pound paper with just a regular I don't know whatever the regular weight is for copy paper. You want to make sure when you're using glue stick and you're doing a large surface, you need to make sure to get the whole thing glued down and not skip any spaces because wherever you skip spaces, you're going to find that you get like little pockets, air pocket. So check to make sure you can tell by how shiny it is. If you're if you have a dull spot, that means there's no glue there. So yuck. I hate touching glue. Let's see where we're missing anything. Here and down here. Corner. Okay, generous on the gluing. do this. Burnish it down a bit. And it may hold off a few minutes on folding this so I don't get the lump that doesn't go away. Oh, I like it. That's a good cover. It's a good weight for a cover. It's not as heavy like using cardstock. But it should be strong enough to hold up to frequent use throughout the month. All right, I'm going to set that over there to dry and take a look at our signature again. All right. How many pages did we end it up with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess that's okay. But I can tell right away that I am going to need to trim down um, some of these pages. And 
and I am going to use my scissor. It's my journal. It's a junk journal. I'm going to use the scissor like this. And let's see if there's anything I need to do to straighten things up. All right, and I think we're gonna go with this. I don't want that. What do we want in front? This works. definitely have not waited long enough for the, um, the cover to dry, but since this journal is just for me, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Fold it. and hope oh, not that I don't get too much trouble with and I didn't it worked maybe because they were already folded okay I like it Feels good. Feels a little heavy. Feels like there's probably a few more pages that I'm going to need. Right. This is what I'm working in. Yellow. Yellow's going to be on the front cover. I love yellow. Okay, and we're going to go with Flowers and Butterflies for May. Flowers and Butterflies. We're going to do that. Not a butterfly, it's a moth. All right, we'll find something for the front cover. Doesn't have to be right this second. I was just seeing if there was, you know, just the right thing sitting on my desk. All right, there's beautiful flowers. All right, May. 
Not a moth. <laughs> a moth is not a butterfly. Moth maybe reminds me of fall. All right, let's make a little front pocket out of this for We can just glue it on as a topper. big white spot being right there is not I'm not liking that We're just going to glue that on just like that. Beautiful rose. Okay, so do any of you actual are you actual journalers? What do you use to journal on? I guess I'll pretty much center it. All right, this is my month of May, and let's sew it in real quick. There is our centerfold already. I know Louise at Louise W Designs made a freebie recently. I think I'm going to take a look over there and see if there's anything in there that might be perfect for the month of May. Louise, I'm coming to check it out. This is a lot more pages than I normally use. Is there anything I can take out? Let's see if there's anything I can take out. I only do X amount of journaling. That even wasn't in there, right? I'm gonna take the blue one out, which helps. I think that I'm what I'm feeling is the thickness because of those three pocket pages and this. Okay, we have one, only one pocket page left. Okay, I took the blue one out. I don't want to take the 
blue one out. I like the blue one. All right, so this month is just going to be a little heftier than other months. Let's try it again. Make sure we have all our pages right side up, the right orientation. That doesn't matter. We've got the... We didn't put a little divot on this one. All right, and we are golden. Yeah, it's crunch time for Mayfest, and it's been hard doing um, the 100-day project during a crunch time. But we're doing it. Moving right along, and let's take our ruler, make sure these pages are really down in there nicely. I'm going to use that thread. Make my three holes. I'm doing the three hole pamphlet stitch like almost always. It's my favorite. It's simple, it's easy, it's effective. One, two, three. Yeah, the only reason I would change up the three hole pamphlet stitch is it will, if it was a group effort, if it was a challenge, or I was in a class, it would be a social, it would be social, a, in a social setting that I would change my three hole pamphlet stitch up to something else. And I'm going to go in through the center so my threads are on the inside. Go in through the mental, middle hole, back up through the top hole. All the way down to the bottom hole. And then back up through the center. All right, you want to make sure that you have one thread on either side of the center bridge. Even the strings out. Ish, they don't have to be perfect. Okay, and Tighten 
You want it taut, but not overly tight. You don't want to rip the pages. Left over right, right over left. Make a square knot. And voila, the merry, merry month of May. Okay, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. I um, appreciate each and every one of you for stopping in and keeping me company through this 100-day project. I'm going to um, get back to my uh, Dia de los Muertos journals, but here is my personal journal for the month of May. All right, everybody, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you real soon. Bye!